Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. It's time to make your big commerce store truly yours in 2023. So in this tutorial, we'll delve into the art of editing big commerce themes, customize the look and feel of your online store to match your brand's identity, ensuring a unique and captivating shopping experience for your customers. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So obviously the first thing that we have to do guys is to head up to our store on BigCommerce. Now as you can see, this is the store and this is how it looks like at the moment with the new template or with the current template I mean. So this is the template, this is how it looks and that's what we are going to work with. So first of all, to start designing the image or the actual page, you can simply head up to your website and click on design this page in page builder. Like that, you will just need to connect to the website once more and go ahead and just edit it as you edit any website uh, on any page builder you know. As an example, here if I want to add the layout, I'm just going to drag it and I have dragged a layout. If I want to split the light on multiple columns, I can just choose how many columns I want right through here. If I want to make each column bigger than another, I can just make this one bigger, drag this one like that, and as you can see, everything is being made through this menu without coding anything at all. Now, if I'd like to add some text, I can just drag it into the columns that I have made, and here I is. Now I can simply just click on this double click and write whatever I want. As an example, I'm going to write, hello guys. Oh, this is not guys, <laughs> this is guys, so this is hello guys. Now here, if I'd like to edit this text, change the font, or do whatever I want, I can redo that through here. Here we can choose the text style, I can make it custom, here the font family, I can just choose between them, here for the font weight and the size, and here the color. You can add colors through here and just choose whatever color you think of or you prefer. Now after you're done with that, you can add margins, paddings and alignment to your text to make it look more better and more comfortable for the eye. Now for the image, simply by dragging it into one of your layouts, you will be able to have an image on your website. The next thing is simply by replacing the image itself. So click on upload image through that and then click into upload, choose a file, and choose whatever image you'd like. As an example, I'm going to add this one, and here it is. So, this is an image that has been added to our website. And, of course, you don't really have to download the image to have it in here, you just have to copy a new URL for any image, and it will be uh, like visible in here. Now, let's go for another thing. As an example, carousel. So here, carousel, to add it, I'm just going to add it above these. And it is simply like a slider, which you're going to add multiple slides into it. And it's going to be like swiping, swiping between these slides, as you can see here. So let's change, for example, this image. I'm going to click on it like that. And then you can simply change it. It is very easy to change. Just click on these three points if you'd like to duplicate it. Click the lead to delete one. Uh, here you can, for example, let's go to slide one. Here I can change the color. Uh, slide link, I can change the link if I want. Uh, here for the, I can even like move them around like through here. Uh, I can make the second one the first one and the first one the second one depending on what I want exactly I can add even more slides like that uh, I can like drag and yeah it can do whatever I want literally now after that you have the product product sets button and for these are very easy you just have to drag like that if you have any product on your website you just have to choose it so as an example, here, you can column background, edit everything, and you have simply to search for a product by name or SQ. For now, I don't really have any products on my website, and that's why there is no product being showed for me in this section. Uh, 
but of course for you guys there will be plenty of products that you have already on your website you can simply just choose one and it will be shown in here you can choose either a product or multiple products by choosing this product set which works simply like these sliders over here that will be changing from a product to another for the visitor of your website finally we have a button which is a simple button that you drag and click on you can change the link of it so it's going to be like that button link and here we have the html code here if you have a customized code that you want to add to your website you can simply just add it in here save it and it will be added into your website very easy without any problem this is for spacer and this is for divider and this is it for the push page builder now for the theme itself how can we change it simply if you want to do your dashboard and went to the storefront you will find here themes or theme marketplace if i want to change my theme i can either change in the change for change it in the marketplace or search for a theme in marketplace or upload a theme from my own pc now for that you can go to the theme marketplace there is of course paid ones and free ones feel free to choose whatever you feel comfortable to have now for each one of those free ones you will have multiple styles to go for so depending on the size some some ones have three three styles and some of them have one style so it's completely up to the theme itself how it's gonna be looking and for you if you want one style or three styles as an example, I'm going to choose this theme. To change my own theme at the moment, let's just click on this theme, add theme, and then apply theme now. Click on confirm, and then just wait, go to themes, make sure that it is my own theme at the moment, and then let's refresh the page. And as you can see, the website has changed. It doesn't look how it used to be. So now, as you can see, the orange bar is here. The menu has changed. Everything literally changed for us. So this is simply how you can change the theme. And the same thing works for every theme that you have in here. The same page builder, the same stuff, the same layout, the same everything. So here, drag and drop widgets here, which is added to the region will appear on all pages. Uh, so this is like global region. So for example, if you want something to appear on all pages, just drag it over here. And it will be seen on literally every page on your website but if you want to edit a specific page do not put anything in here do not be editing this section just leave it for uh, like future stuff for example announcement or something that you want to say for everyone in your website put it in here but other than that just put it on a normal section which is gonna be like so like this one over here and yeah guys that's how you can edit your website i hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial